Hi, this is Pat, and I'm going to show you a little something different tonight. I had a, a few guys ask me on YouTube uh, about my P-40 Warhawk. Uh, they were wondering how I made the functioning cow flaps. So, I'm going to take a few minutes to show you. As you recall, my P-40 here has functioning cow flaps. Now, it's no big secret to making them. As you can see, how they open and close. All it is, is just uh, plastic behind the flaps interlocking together. And that's how it works. Now the trick to doing this is first to build up your cow. You know, the two halves, the front, but don't put the cow flaps on yet. What you do, you take that part that has the cow flaps and you trim out the flaps. Be very careful when you do that. Trim them out. Now, I was trying to figure out a way in which I could show you how to do this, and I came up with a nice little way. I made a mock up of a P40 cow. Now, you're going to need a few things. First of all, you're going to need some nylon hinge pins now these are some flat these are flat pinned hinges that are used in holding open the and uh for the cows to work you need these and the plastic that you trim away don't throw it away because we're going to need this plastic that you trim away in order to make the back half of the cow flaps Now, I made a mock-up of the cow. As you can see, I've already used the pin hinges. Now, one thing about this, any area that you're going to glue, make sure you sand it first. That way you get a good glue joint. Now, if you can see here, I've already had the hinges glued in place with the flaps. Now, leave those open. There's four of them on the P40. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do is to make the back half of the cow flaps, uh, the part that interlocks them all together. Now the first thing you do is you take that plastic that you saved and you trim it up. Now let's say this is the plastic that you saved. You trim it up so that it locks in behind that pin hinge. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue this in so you can see how it works. We're going to take the CA, we're going to glue it in real quick. I'm running low on CA. But as you see how it interlocks in behind that pin hinge. Take a quick clamp. This is just a this is just a little mock-up, so it doesn't have to be perfect, just enough to show you how. Now you see how that now you see how that end there overlaps the inner half? Now it's gonna overlap flap number two. I got these flaps numbered. One, two, three, and four. Now see how the inner half the uh, inner half overlaps flap two? That's what you want to happen. That's how that works. Now while that's drying. With some fast drying CA, we're going to need to make a spacer to go right here to bring that up to the level of the inner half of the flap. So, I made some spacers. And we're going to, all we need to do is just glue it right there on flap number two. Now, here's your spacer that I made. Actually, I think I need to trim this up a little bit. Give me a second while I trim it up. That's a little better. Now close the flap up slightly and just put that spacer right there against the other inner half of the plastic. And I'm going to put a clamp on that too. There. That's all we want that to do is just to bring that up to the level that this other inner half of the flap is at. 
Now, on flap number three, what we want to do is we want to take another uh, piece of plastic, shape it up so that it also goes around that hinge, but it overlaps outward on, on both sides of flap number three. So let's go ahead and glue that in place too. I hope I'm not moving too fast for you. If I am, well, you, you can always ask questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Put a little CA on flap three. And as you can see how that piece of plastic is contoured so that it fits right around that hinge. Now we're going to take the clamp off of number one, so it, it should be locked up pretty good. And we're going to put it on number three. And there's number three locked into place. I hope you guys can see this pretty good, but that's locked into place now. Now on flap number four, that's going to be last flap. We need to make, put a spacer on that to bring that the height up. And I made another spacer. So we're going to put a little glue right in that spot on flap number four. I'll close this up a little bit. Turn it upside down. I got a fresh bottle over there, so I'm not out of CA. But at the price this stuff is, you know, every bit, every drop counts. I'm going to put a little clamp on that so that the CA can set. But as you can see, right now, I'll take that clamp off, how that's interlocking. It's already interlocking. If I push up on two, it interlocks with one and three. See that? Now, we're going to go back to number two. And then number two, on that spacer that we have there, we made another piece of plastic. To fit over the pinch hinge and also that spacer. So right on top of that spacer, we want to put another piece of a drop of CA. And then we're going to clamp it down. But when we clamp it down, we're only going to clamp it down onto that spacer. The other end have to move freely. So there it is right there, and we're going to clamp it down. This is the one I call, number, number two is the one I call the control hinge. Because on it, that's where you put the control arm so that you can be able to control the flaps. Now going back to number four. We made another piece of plastic as a spacer, or as a, uh, to, as to overlap the piece of, uh, to interlock the, on number, uh, on number three. And just like that. I'm going to get some CA. I'm going to interlock it real quick. Uh, my furnaces have kicked on. I'm trying to out talk them. So if you hear a little noise behind in the background, that's just my furnaces. My furnace kicked on. Alright, now that is going that's interlocked. We clamp it down so it can get it so it can dry. Now we're gonna take the clamp off number. Well, well, we still need it in there. It needs a little more dry. But as you can see, that's how it interlocks. Now once you get all this done, when it dries, all this should be moved freely. One thing to remember, put some oil on that metal pin in the center of your hinges that way the glue doesn't adhere to them and the paint doesn't adhere to them now after this you can go ahead and use your fiberglass strips and glue them into the across the back half of the hinges that way it makes sure they don't come out and it also helps stiffen up the rest of the cowl as well too Not quite there. 
think I kind of glued in the third hinge in, in there. Oh, yes, I did. See if I can get it out. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. But they all interlock. As you can see, see how they're opening now? See how they're opening? They're interlocked. See that? That's how the cow flaps work. All it is is just the outer flaps, which is the ones you want to uh, keep and make look good because that's part of the plane, appearance of the plane. Those you want to look good are just working in conjunction with the outer inner layer of plastic that's la layered across the top to get it to work. All it is is just interlocking, one sliding under the other. That's all it is. See how that works? Even in this little mock-up piece I did, functioning cow flaps. Very simple. Now you don't want to extend them too far out because then they come out from they come apart from each other. But once you get it on your plane, you can line it up. Now this method also works for other planes that have cow flaps such as uh, Corsairs and Thunderbolts. And I hope this has helped you. Like I said, I had a few people ask how did I make those cow flaps. They really seem to like them. And I thank you for your comments and your ratings on the P40. That's one of my best planes. But I hope this helps you in building cow flaps. Because uh, next week we're going to get back on the uh, BAE Hawk. But first, I'm going to be at the Weak Signals Toledo RC Expo next Saturday. So, I'm going to have a lot of pictures to show you from that. And I hope to see any of you there. In the meantime, I hope this helps you. Have a good one.